Christmas parties are a time for fun and frivolity, but require a lot of preparation. Let's demonstrate what to do for a successful Christmas party. This is Mr. and Mrs. <coughs> they have been saving their food rations for months now, so let's see what they have prepared. No, 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 this won't do. Party guests expect a wide range of light refreshments. All you have prepared is a spoonful of flour. Remember, all party food tastes better when on a stick, such as miniature sausages, cheese and pineapple segments, Worcestershire flomp wobbles, and soup. If you're going to serve alcohol, ensure you also have a bottle of holy water. Because if you're going to drown your sorrows, you'll need to exercise their ghosts as well. <laughs> Be sure to lock away any children, as their youthful faces and tiny hands may offend party guests. But remember to release them later this time. Remember what happened to last year's children. <laughs> For proper party atmosphere, have a selection of suitable Christmas music to broadcast. Someone ain't my good boy with trousers, and I'm gonna have a good boy with sausage. And we're gonna have ourselves a good boy with time when we have a good boy with sausage. But caution, be wary that you conclude your party no later than 9 p.m. As beyond this point, some women are prone to dangerous and outrageous statements. I think women should be allowed to vote. Oh dear. Should this occur, it is best practice to lock her away too for the safety of herself and others around her. There's no telling where this line of independent thought could lead. Perhaps regale her with a rousing rendition of the national anthem to restore her sanity. God save our gracious queen. Lord, live a noble queen. So, follow these tips and we'll have a jolly good Christmas party. Or for short, Sutawa Chukku.